Let's now link you up with Ferdinand Amundi, who's our senior coast reporter, and he has traveled to the region to bring us a live update now on phone. Ferdinand, thanks for joining us this evening. What is the situation like at this hour? Good evening, Yvonne. Well, we've been driving through Tana River and Lamu counties, um, <clears throat> beginning from Witu, I beg your pardon. And what we have seen is uh, people now walking by the roadside, especially the men carrying weapons, good weapons, anything from balls, arrows, and machetes. I will try to speak to some of them, especially in the area of Kibaoni, which was one of the places which was uh, attacked two weeks ago in the first attack. And they're saying that they are not now taking anything for granted. They are guarding themselves. There's a lot of uh, fear and anxiety for not knowing what is going to happen overnight because uh, there have been a lot of assurances about matters being brought under control. And then what happened? And then this time around, a police station was attacked. I was at Gamba police station itself where there were some of the inmates, there are some of those who survived. And they were telling me that those were needed to be transferred from that place because uh, a policeman was killed and five of uh, their, you know, uh, uh, five of the other inmates also uh, killed last night, so they had sought transfer from that cell, but uh, by the time I left about six, that had not happened. So a lot of anxiety as a result of the attacks, which is understandable. All right, Ferdinand, anxiety, as you mentioned, and some of them uh, now taking security into their own matters. What is the security operation like, the boots on the ground, so to speak? Up to about 5 p.m., there were detectives uh, around Gamba police station trying to find the answers. They questioned the driver of the lorry which was commandeered. If, uh, if you're not aware, there was a lorry, uh, the three time boys who were killed, the driver of that lorry was actually ordered, according to him, to transport them away from Gamba into some unspecified location where they disembarked. So it's one of those people being questioned. Uh, there's also been a lot of uh, police officers and also members of the uh, uh, NIS and also the Criminal Investigation Department, the scenes of crime in both scenes, uh, trying to find out the answers. Uh, right now, I am uh, around Peketoni. There, I've, I've noticed there's also uh, a heightened uh, patrol, at least uh, seen a few cars passing here and there. And I've also seen a few patrol cars, especially in the areas of Kibon, where there are those persons who are walking around with the weapons. They're trying, they say they're trying to patrol to make sure nothing happens tonight and also to make sure that it does not boil over into another situation. Mm -hmm. So there's that aspect of security looking into making sure that there's law and order and the people themselves saying, no, we want to take care of this type of ourselves this time around. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much for that, Ferdinand. And of course, we are expecting uh, a more comprehensive story from you, which is coming up in just a moment. But thank you, uh, Ferdinand, for that.